I'm John Davis. I'm the chief engineer of the new C-Max. And you're behind the wheel of the new C-Max. So it must be exciting to see something you've worked so long and hard on come to market. Now, 47, 47, 47. That's pretty cool. That's uh, really cool. Yeah. And we're talking MPGs, 47 city, 47 highway, 47 combined. Tell me about the powertrain. How do you get such fantastic numbers? So this is our third generation hybrid system. And what we've done is we've continued obviously to refine, work and improve around our hybrid system, really as a propulsion system, not just as an engine or a high voltage battery, but really as a system and an architecture. So we still use the power, power split technology that we've used in our previous generation hybrids, but now we're combining it with lithium ion batteries, um, we've downsized the engine to make it efficient and kind of operated its best position in terms of the two liter uh, inline four and an Atkinson cycle. And at the same time, we've also improved the transmission. And for the first time, we're building that as well as the battery systems in house. So it's a complete Ford product. It's all a complete Ford product. We make the engine, we make the transmission, and we make the batteries. And this is coming first, but there's also a plug-in version of this car that you're developing. Is that for people who want to be able to drive on electricity only? Yeah, so the Energy, or the C-Max Energy, is our first plug-in hybrid. And what that enables is not only great hybrid fuel efficiency, but really the opportunity under moderate distances, say 20 miles, to operate as a fully electric vehicle. And that's a really exciting opportunity for customers who want that blend of EV capability and hybrid capability with optimum range. So the C-Max Energy can get 550 miles of combined total range, about 20 miles of a true EV driving experience. And that's great if you've got the opportunity to plug in, say, once a day, or maybe even more often than that, you've got the opportunity to get a lot of great fuel economy uh, and, as I said, really an EV experience up to, to 20 miles. And there's something cool about that car, right? You can choose when you use the electricity. Exactly. We've got a, this button that allows us to either put it on auto, and yep. the car will decide for you what the best use of your plug-in energy plus your hybrid energy is. And then if you want to go ahead and drive on a full EV experience, you press the EV now, or EV later, which really allows you to hold on to that plug-in stored energy in the large battery, and then use it at a later point. And that means the vehicle will still drop, operate like a hybrid, so the engine will go on and off as necessary to drive in hybrid mode. But at the end, you can get to wherever, say, your city destination is. If you want to go into full EV mode, then it's just a matter of pressing the button into EV now, and you're driving on all electric power. Hey Nathan, this car feels pretty peppy. What's the 0 to 60 time like? Let's find out in an impromptu 0 to 60 test at sea level. Here we go. Ready? Not bad. Still going. Ah. Interesting. 11.15. Now we did it once before actually folks and we got 10.7. There are three people in the vehicle, which when you think about it, this is a vehicle meant to hold passengers. So that's a pretty realistic test. Around 10 seconds, let's say, not bad. From an engineering perspective, how hard is it to combine good miles per gallon with the added weight of a battery pack? Right, because the batteries in this thing are heavy and weight is the enemy of uh, economy. Yeah, so it is it is all about efficiency, and so that's why we chose lithium-ion as the battery architecture to really put into our third generation system and to provide really just enough battery in terms of providing the great fuel economy both in terms of the hybrid form as well as the plug-in hybrid form and the energy, and it really has been about optimization. And that's not just applying to the batteries, it's applying to how we design uh, body parts and how we design other chassis parts because it is about being efficient. We know we need to be not only weight efficient, we need to be aero efficient and ultimately help deliver the fuel economy to the customer. One. All right, and of course the most important detail for those folks who are interested in buying one, when will they hit the showrooms and how much do the two different model levels cost? So they'll hit the showroom soon. Yep. Um, I would say it's a very near term. We're already taking orders, of course, for the C-Max. Yep. And now it's just a matter of uh, them showing up in the dealer's hands. Uh, that 
the uh, SE model for the C-Max uh, hybrid starts at 25995 that includes the uh, destination and delivery and the uh, C-Max Energy which is the plug-in hybrid which will be a couple of months later um, starts at uh, just under $34,000 and of course with the federal incentives that we have for plug-in electrified products um, you can actually uh, get a C-Max Energy for just under $30,000. And how about the, if you want the really fancy SEL model in the hybrid, how much does that start at? So that starts at $28,995 okay. and a uh, few options and feature content beyond that. And uh, again, you already get a lot of great technology and features uh, even without having to go up to the SEL, but that adds things like leather and 10-way power seats, uh, also 8-inch uh, MyFord Touch. Uh, screen and, and our next generation sync system so a lot of great feature content for the customer. Perfect. Thanks. Please hang up and try again.